88-year-old George Hess was only a teenager when he served as a soldier during the Second World War. He was a member of the Malayan Volunteer Group Australia, who fought in Singapore during the Japanese invasion. But after the fall of Singapore to Japanese forces in 1942, he was thrown into an internment camp. How did you manage to escape from the internment camp? Well, there were some Indian labourers who were working on the sewage, and I noticed that every evening they used to come up and gather at a certain point, and then the Japanese used to march them off, put them on a lorry, and take them take them away. I didn't know where they took them to. So what I did was I took off my singlet, wrapped it around my head like a turban. I had shorts on and I had a pair of rubber shoes. I joined them because my colour. You know, you can be mistaken. So I joined them, and I, I got, I got paid 50 cents for escaping, which was one day's wages. Mr. Hess was one of more than a thousand who turned up at the remembrance ceremony for the Battle of Singapore at the Kranji War Memorial on Wednesday. War veterans, war survivors, students, soldiers, and ambassadors were all present to honor the memory of the war dead. While Mr. Hess managed to escape becoming a prisoner of war, another soldier was not as lucky. Mr. Bill Innes was captured when the British forces surrendered. He was sent to Thailand to work on the Thai Burma Railway. What was it like uh, being a prisoner of war for the Japanese? Was it very harsh the condition? Very yes. I think our biggest worry was our health. You know, was, um, cholera and people were dying like flies up in um, up in the. Near the Burmese border, we were, and uh, you know, it's a matter of staying alive. While living and working conditions were harsh, he was also subjected to beatings at the prisoners' camp. Oh, one particular bad bashing by a, a Japanese soldier. He didn't like tall people, <laughs> so he uh, he gave me a good bashing on the front. No reason at all, really. As the war veterans remember their comrades, so do their families. Miss Rose Maryfell was two years old when she left Singapore in 1942, leaving behind her father, who was fighting with the Malacca Volunteers. He died in one of the labor camps in 1943, but she and her mother only knew of it in 1944. She has visited Singapore seven times in the past 20 years. We decided that we would come and、um, commemorate the fall of Singapore, where so many people were lost. Most of our group had fathers who were in the volunteer forces, or relatives who were in the volunteers, and、uh, that's why they're back here with us. Notice Rosemary's medals are exactly the same as same, mine. Yes, they were my father's medals. The, she wears them on、yes. that side because they're her father's medals. Yes, I wear them on this side because they are my medals. Speaking at the ceremony, guest of honor Michael Palmer reminded young Singaporeans on the importance of defending our country and to remember those who have fought for Singapore. I think it's important to have events like this and and the series of events that are going on, including the markers that have been put up. Including、um, our total defence、uh, day, to remind、uh, young Singaporeans and also to not forget the families of the people that have、uh, given their lives、uh, for Singapore,、um, so that you you don't lose that history and you realise that、um, if we don't make an effort and we don't put in that effort to、uh, protect our country and defend our country. Then things can go very, very wrong. At least one among the young Singaporeans will not forget this period of Singapore history. Vincent Teo's granduncle died fighting for Singapore, and he came carrying his medals. Are you proud? Yeah, definitely.、Uh, not everyone has something to say that、uh, my grandfather, my granduncle, was、uh, a veteran, and、uh, I get to walk around with a medal. So there's something 
like for my my generation, we don't know much about the, like this kind of stuff. Maybe the younger generation has something to learn from this. The remembrance ceremony is organized annually at Kranji War Memorial, the resting place of over 4,500 men and women who fought and perished in Malaya and Singapore during World War II.